let's talk about you and me a couple's therapy. So that's yeah, exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. You just oh, oh my gosh. Settle down. Sure. The guys, 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 please, please, please. One at a time, okay? This is a place we can talk. Okay, for starters, let's just say that this guy doesn't work. What? I run an international business. And and what is it exactly that you do for a living, sir? I spread joy and Christmas cheer. He also runs a sweatshop in the North Pole. Oh, here we go again. Up. Uh, it's cold up there. How could it be a sweatshop? So, clearly from the get-go, I see that we have some issues with uh, overworking. Do you cut out enough time to spend with each other? Well, you know, he's on vacation for 364 days a year, and all I just want to do is go to Florida every once in a while, but... Well, I see you all the time. I see you when you're sleeping. Uh, uh, see, know see, when you're he awake. watches me in my sleep. He stalks me. You know, I left my wife of 300 years for you. You think a little bit of gratitude could be in order? Well, actually, Santa, uh, demanding something out of her for something that you did is is actually not a very healthy. He blames thing me. To he do. blames me for breaking up his marriage with Mrs. Claus. Ho, 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 that's rich. I blame you for breaking up our own relationship. Maybe if she wasn't such a ho 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 with that guy Kevin she works with. Here we go again with the Kevin thing. Kevin is a friend of mine. Kevin's been on the naughty list for ten years straight. So I'm sensing that you are a little threatened. By this guy, Kevin? Yeah. That's because he doesn't even believe I exist. You know, I was raised Jewish, so I didn't even believe you existed until we met at that Carlos and Charlie's in South Padre Island. Ho, ho, that was a wild night. Oh, this is good. Uh, let's, let's revisit that moment when you first met. Do you remember those feelings that you had when you first saw each other? Well, I was like on spring break with my girlfriends from Arizona State, and... <laughs> I saw him from across the bar room, and obviously I was like, wow, this guy's like really attractive. Oh, oh, and I was nervous. I was sweating bullets, mostly because I only have this one outfit, and it was 89 degrees that day. He like came over to me from across the dance floor, and there was that song that was on. Do you remember it? Of course I do. I leaned over right behind you and said, Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Let me tell you something that you like to hear. Boom. That is a wonderful memory that you should definitely cherish. It, it, it's the Yin Yang Twins uh, whisper song. Oh, babe, that's our song. I know. What's happened to us? But I don't know. When did we start to hate each other so much? Hey, that's why you guys come to therapy, you know, to get these things out and, and, and get better. What I'm going to suggest that you guys do is go home and make a list of all the things that you love about each other and check it twice and bring it back for your next session and we'll, we'll start over. Oh, I know a thing or two about making lists. Come on, babe. Let's leave. Thank you, doctor. I'm going to take him to that cookie place in the mall and then bring him back to my house. Ooh, would you say that Santa Claus is coming to town? <laughs> oh, you're bad. You're so bad. All right, all right. That that That's enough of that. That's gross. I like that video, huh? What about subscribe? What the f*** are you waiting for? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like cursing? Well, f*** that. How does a person even make it through life without cursing? You know what? I'm not classy, and I don't pretend to be. Anyway, if you don't subscribe, you're missing out on new videos every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eh, whatever, it's up to you.